we've now covered the clicks and we can now move on to the next group of consonants uh, because uh, beyond clicks it, Tosa has uh, a range of other consonants uh, that include uh, plosives, fricates, affricates and others so let's move on to the next uh, uh, group of consonants and look at plosives uh, what are plosives? Uh, plosives are those consonant sounds that are produced by stopping airflow and then releasing it and uh, these similar to how the clicks are organized can also be organized um, into uh, further categories for example we have the labial uh, plosives we have uh, the dental alveolar plosives which are um, which are central dental uh, similar to the clicks we have the post alveolar and we have the villaric or the villa uh, plosives um, so for the most part these are, are, are similar to the click uh, consonant except for the labials uh, and in this case uh, for plosives the labials are actually bilabials because uh, they involve the use of both the upper and the lower lip uh, so looking at these we have um, the uh, further categories again uh, beyond these so each of these will be subdivided further into uh, different types uh, of each type for example for for the label <coughs> sorry for the labial we have uh, the ejective we have the aspirated we have uh, the slack voice and then we have the implosive uh, by labials um, it's the same for the dental as well um, we have uh, ejective aspirated and slack voice uh, we don't have uh, uh, implosives for any of the other uh, for any of the other types and you'll see uh, you'll see why or at least you can uh, can understand why so let's look at these let's look at the bilabials first uh, the plosive by la uh, bilabials first we have the ejective which is uh, p, p. Uh, an example of that is ukupena pena you know the tossing and turning that is um, as a result of someone being afflicted by pain uh, or like you know when someone grabs uh, their stomach uh, when they are suffering from some sort of ailment uh, that is called ukupena pena you know so it's pa an adjective pa 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 and then the aspirated version pa pa pega to cook um, rather the the instructive verb is a uh, pega cook is an instruction pega and then we have the slack voice uh, again slack voice uh, 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 sort of like a bass version uh, so to speak if you want to sort of visualize it I, I don't know if you can visualize sounds but uh, uh, to sort of see it or, or, or understand it better it's almost like adding bass to that like a slack voice uh, it's a b, b as in boba, uh, die or pass away, uh, and then the in, uh, the implosive version, which is unique, um, uh, which is a unique plosive out of the four different uh, uh, variants or versions or, or types of plosives. It's a uh, implosive b, b, b. So you are pulling a in b, b as in bulela. Uh, thank you know or, or show gratitude <coughs> so these are the bilabials as you can see um, both your upper and lower lips are involved in the production of the sound pa 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 ba ba and ba ba okay moving on to the next uh, to the next group the dental like i said the dental uh, has the ejective aspirated and slack voice uh, but not necessarily the implosive version of that uh, I think the sound is is practically impossible to produce um, but looking at the ejective uh, dental is a da 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 
the, it's the dental alveola. Um, so the production of the sound, again, it's central, meaning that the tongue is placed uh, in the front teeth, um, uh, central, like in the central part of, of your teeth, which happens to be posi uh, positioned in front. And uh, you can also produce the same sound uh, in the alveolar ridge. That's why it's dental alveolar. So you can place your tongue in the alveolar just at the beginning of the alveolar ridge. So you have the teeth, then you have the alveolar ridge, and then beyond that you have the post alveolar, and then there's the uh, the palate or the palatal region, uh, which stretches like all the way to the um, just before the back. Uh, so with this sound, da da, it's an alveolar sound, dental alveolar. Uh, so your your um, uh, your uh, your tongue is placed in the um, at the beginning of the al alveolar ridge. You block the sound, da, and then you release it, da 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 da. An example is dema or dema, which is to cut down a tree. Again, the aspirated version, ta ta, which is a, a common sound in English, ta 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 ta. Theta, which is a speak, theta, talk. And then we have the slack voice. The slack voice is da, 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 da. As you can see, all of these sounds are, are, are produced by your tongue being placed in, uh, in the um, alveolar ridge and blocking the sound from there and then releasing it. Da, as in dobula, denga dobula to shoot um and so that's it for the uh, dental alveolar um uh, consonants uh, or plosive uh, consonants and then we can look at the post alveolar ones uh, again we have the ejective here yeah. the aspirated here yeah. the slack voice yeah so uh examples of these for kia kia is kiala Kiala, 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 which is to plant. Kiala, plant, it's an instructive verb, plant. And uh, the aspirated version, kia, kiola, kiola, it's to accuse, kiola, accuse. The slack voice, kia, ikiasi, ikiasi, um, which I believe is a, is a, uh, is a, nativization so to speak of uh, of a borrowed word you know ikyasi, ikyasi, uh, which refers to a coat uh, or a, a jacket a coat or jacket um so the postal violas are kya kya and kya let's look at the last uh, at the last group of these plosive consonants uh, sorry it's kya kya yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm still uh, stuck on the postal viola now. Now for the villa uh, or the villaric uh, plosives. It's ka, ka, ka. That's the ejective one. Ka, 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 ka. Ka, ka. Um, uh, an example is impuku. Impuku. Impuku, a mouse. The aspirated version. Ka, ka. Ka, kauleza, hurry up, kauleza, ka, uh, hurry up. And then we have the slack voice version, which is a ga, 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 goba, bend, goba, bend. And uh, when you look at these consonants in, in, in this way, it, it, it sort of uh, uh, it shows a very interesting way um, of looking at them or understanding them. For instance, one wouldn't ordinarily uh, associate the ka a sound with ga as being related in any way, you know. And uh, but when you look at them in terms of uh, the mechanisms by which the sounds are produced, for instance, you know the ka, ka, and ga are essentially the same group of uh, um, of uh, of sounds. And so ka, when you voice it, uh, adding that like basal sound, that bass sound, it becomes ga. So essentially it's the same, but having transformed by uh, 
adding that slack voice uh, sort of uh, variation to it. And it's not immediately obvious, uh, even to speakers of the language, that uh, these are really related with kya and gya, for example. Uta and da, for example. And upa and ba, uh, for example. But when you look at them, uh, by way of these external mechanisms and how the, the configuration of the tongue, the mouth, um, are set up, then you are able to see like uh, those relationships in a more obvious way. And uh, so those are the plosives. And now we can move on to the next group.